Hadouken! Come smash! Back in 1983, Commodore 64. Hi guys, my main Christmas present here, just get the end of Raptor out of the way. Okay, what do, what do you reckon it is, Reggie? Um, something that can plug into any device nearly. Reckon? Uh, it may be the Nintendo Switch. Okay. Okay, so I've got a card here. I'll find out who this Christmas present's from. Okay. Dear Dad, from your favourite son, Riggy. Thanks, man. You're welcome. I wonder what this is. <laughs> here we go. Oh. Hmm. Let's open this guy up, eh? Let's see what we got here, guys. Reminds me of some of the early Christmases back in 1983. I got my Commodore 64 for Christmas when I was a 12 year old. Had a disk drive, tape deck, Arnie's American Cup Challenge. There's the game. Had Bruce Lee, it was a good game. And guess what? This is from the Gamesman in Australia. Got some um, voucher here. This is the same shop that they had when I got my Atari 2600 so many years ago, back in like 1981. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Get a shot of that. Okay, let's get this bad boy open. Oh, here's my Christmas present. Did you get me and the same time? This is it guys, at the back of the box. You can pause it if you want to read it. Okay, you know, let's you open this up. Ooh, ooh. You're using the camera properly, doesn't look like it. Looks like you're too close. Mm -hmm. You want to step back and film it properly. Okay, sit here. Now, how do we open this? That would be the question. There's been so many unboxing videos. Um, I've seen so many. Okay, there's a bit of tape here. So what I'll do is I'll cut the tape. And we'll come around to where there's some light. So we can see. Plastic casing to protect it. And yeah, I okay. still didn't give you the machine. Now this does have a bit of weight and it does feel similar weight just from first impressions of the Commodore 64 that I have. Um, so the back there, there's a power, HDMI, USB, as is all aware from all the um, different reviews. More there's three more there and a power button. And again, we're not getting good light. There's good light there. We're still getting good light. There's, there's no bad light. People, it feels pretty good. A little bit springier, I guess, than the original. Yeah, and it's easier. So, and then, I don't, I'm guessing we can, it comes with a controller, I'm pretty okay. sure. Um, I guess it has a um, See what else we've got in here, as you know from all the unboxing videos. It's I'm been guessing a remote. And I was right. Here's our controller. There's been a few different opinions about the controller, how good it is. There's little bits of plastic around this, which I'll peel off and some menu buttons and so on. Okay, that's the controller. We have our guidebook, and it's supposed to have some good details on it. Well, it probably doesn't. What I'm, what I'm looking forward to, Iggy Boy, is I'm looking forward to using a USB stick with games on it that I can copy and- Put it into the computer. Put into this new computer and try it out. Guys, we do have the Australian connector with the USB that goes into that. And goes into the um, computer, hooks up, power, and then we have a HDMI cable which I'm going to try shortly to hook it up to our big television, show them the telly, the big telly there, and we'll see you after we hook it up, later. Boop, boop, boop. Just a close look at the box guys, good quality box, a bit of a like a foam sort of connect protector, um, if we look at the back, Skating game must be from World Games. But 64 retro games included. Um, 
pretty awesome. It's got Boulder Dash on it, Grid Runner, Iridium, Impossible Mission, Paradroid, Monty on the Run, California Games, and a whole host of other games. Let's get this hooked up and see how we go. 26 years later, and we have it again. The Commodore 64. Let's turn this on and see how it goes. Hi guys, let's turn this on and see if we can run channel for it. Yeah, it should be because unless that's the regular Fox doll or 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 it's a switch. The lights come on. See the light? Yeah. I mean, actually, they can't. Here we go. No, they can. It's the right one, Eddie. Woo! Okay, let's get this started. English. Comment down below what country you're in. 50 hertz output. That's what North America. This is exciting. You can pause the screen if you want to read that. You got it working. Okay, guys, so these are buttons there, but before it was up and I wasn't able to press it because I hadn't read done the test. Okay, we've got classic mode and then we've got carousel. I'm going to go straight to carousel. Woo! I'm gonna choose. Um, see if we can find any games that we that you we actually have. Boulder Dash. Oh play. yeah, I remember Boulder Dash. Played it a couple times. I played it a couple times today. Let's see how we go. Let's see if the sound comes on. Probably because. Probably isn't. Okay, no sound it guys, and I've got the wrong screen mode probably. Let's see how I go. Okay, so if I get another one, get out. It's still gone. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll get out and I'll go to Which game is he gonna pick? Dun dun dun. I'll go to European 4.3 CRT. That's fine, then I'll go back. But I need to go into where sound is maybe. That's settings. Yeah. Computer model. Um, okay, it doesn't look like it's in there. I'm not sure what the sound is yet. I've already got English. It's fine. Okay, how do we turn the sound on, guys? That's I, the question. But, but I'll just pause this. That way you don't have to watch this whole thing happen. Hi, guys. I found where the sound was. My bad. That guy down there. Third button. I must have had it off. So let's try it now and see if the sound's going to work. Can you hold that for a sec, buddy? Let's see if we can get this working with sound now. I'm assuming the sound's going to bother dash. Mum finally did the iPad. Finally, oh, finally, no, yeah. And she deleted the things that we don't need on it. Yeah, we can, we can, sh we can actually order Domino's on it. Okay, so I'll go back to my menu because, because, let's keep it recording for a sec. I'll go back to three. It says it sounds off now. It's a bit weird. So Boulder Dash, maybe sound off means it's on. It's the opposite. I don't think that's true. Still an issue with sound, guys. Is it the remote, right, remote? How do you know it's not going to work with these? Um, no, this, I don't think that remote works with sound. No, I don't know. Oh, okay, let's try this again. No, it's not, I don't think it's going to work. It's okay, a good thing. Let's try and out again. Go back to sound again, this is number three. I don't get the safest or anything, but that's, that's it. Go back into here. What does one do? Okay. What's your name? Welcome, poser. Okay, we'll go back into the game. This sound thing's a bit annoying. Hmm. Anywho, why do we need sound exactly? Okay, I'm going again. Um, let's go back. See if there's a setting for sound of the game itself. And I'm going to pause. Okay, we'll go on the game. Sound, nothing but sound there. Okay, I'll try another game. Maybe it's the game. Let's exit out. I'll try one okay. There we go. So, for some reason, the sound's not working on my system. Why do we need the sound exactly? Um, because the sound is the best part of the Commodore 64. The sound is probably the best part of the whole Commodore 64. So, the reason why this is not working, 
I have no idea guys, but it's quite frustrating, the sound's not working. So I have to say I'm not happy with that. Um, why are we not going to get no sound? I don't know. Um, but at least well, we have games. Comment down below, tell me why I've got no sound, it's just ridiculous. And if you have one, and you have sound, um, please tell me how you got sound. Please tell us. Comment down below. So I just brought this to a, another television. Uh, I've turned it on. I want to see if I've got sound because I did not have sound on the other one, which is quite annoying. Okay, let's get to source. Just my, sorry, this picture is very hard to read. Patient number one. Patient number two. Patient number three. The source is not connected. Um, okay, I've got an issue here. It says HDMI 4, but there is no HDMI 4. So, oh, here it is. Probably this. Why is this here? Okay. Now, let's see if it's going to work. Let's see if we've got any sound. It may just be how we've set up the TV. We've got sound. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with the, the computer. It's probably because we've got the Blu-ray plugged in and a whole lot of other stuff, so the sound gets filtered a certain way in the telly in the other room. But hmm, looks like we're going to be able to play. So it's all up and running, and obviously you can't see it in this room because it's not clear. But the good news is it's working. Leave it there. Play on the TV. Play mid games. Play players. Eight bits got the record in hot dog. Hey. Nine point nine point two and hot dog eight bit. I wrecked them somehow. I don't know how. Trace first and second. If I'm wrecking, you can get a single flip. Next event. Volpix has the world record, Eggy. We're like 28 seconds flat in the Volpix with the world record. Can anyone beat 28 seconds flat in the speed skating? Oh. Have a go. Von Rick, he did well. 28.2. At least eight. And then so on genius. Sid lost. Sid's at the back, man. He died. At least he lost instead of Volpix and 8 bit are on the top of the leaderboard. Okay, third event. Let's ski jump. 8-bit's got the world record guys, Volpix second and Roy third, wonder what that'll mean for the overall scores, Australia one even, does that mean 8-bit's at the top of the ladder? Oh here we go, 8-bit's leading the competition followed by Volpix and then Roy and then Von Rick. And there's one more event, the bobsled, Von Rick's got the world record Regan, Von Rick guys, 2239 in the bobsled, can anyone beat that? Bobsled champion of the world. Good work. And that means Von Rick's got the gold medal, and we have two silver medalists on 2240. Volpix and Sid. Looks like West Germany's got it. Okay, how are we going in the points overall? Final standings, Iggy. Patchy's last, Snowy's at second last, and Silent Genius at the bottom, and Roy. Then Sid is up there. Then Von Rick. 8 bit, who won? Volpix won, Iggy. Volpix won. Oh, well done, Iggy, then 8-Bit. So Volpix from the USA won, followed by 8-Bit from Australia, and then Von Rick from West Germany, Sid from Mexico, Roy from Australia, Silent Genius, Great Britain, Snowy from Canada, and Patch from Australia. Well done, Iggy, boy. Boom, boom, boom. Hope you enjoyed our video, guys. So if you can beat these records. All right, let's look at the world records. Whoa, 8-Bit on Hot Dog. Speed skating is all picks. Then ski jump. 8 bit. And Von Rick is a bobsled. Good luck beating the scores, guys. Okay, everyone likes to show what their serial number is. Let's have a look and see what we got. 23,886. Look, Australia got the high numbers. Damn, I was hoping to get number one. <laughs>